So we're in Advanced Steel and we have the Power Pack installed. And in this version, we've extended the capabilities of the folded pan type tread in the fact that we've introduced a closure tab. So in this example of the macro I have here, I have the near side stringer is just turned off to make it easier for us to see what's happening with this closure detail. So the closure detail is at the base of the stair, so the very first tread, and it was an element here to close off this void space. So if you come under the tread closure and then come to closure here, closure element and create closure, checking the box will turn on the closure plate element inside the macro. So as you can see it comes in, you can control the variable for the thickness, you can offset the vertical height of the base. So let's just have a look at that. So it will come in based upon the base level of the stair. So that's the initial setting out point there. So that's this horizontal line that you see here. But if you wish to, you can change this height. So if we put a small figure in here, we can see that the level will change. And obviously, so it goes up. If you put a negative value in, it will go below the base level. Similarly, there is a second tab to this where you can see at the moment we have the create nose fold checked. Now, obviously, the other part of the stair has a vertical face as well. So we can enable that so it will match exactly what is going on within that part of the staircase. So it matches all the other tread profiles that have been created. You have the same options to control the variables in here as you would within the main treads. The only difference is, is fold four, which is actually the return fold at the base here. If you don't wish to have a return fold in this element here, you can uncheck that dialog box and that fold will be removed. Obviously checking it and it will come back on again. And it reappears. So obviously you can control again like the parameters in here if you wanted to change the length of this. This will change the base length of that fold there. The angle field is for information only. The other element here is also to change the fold direction. So you can actually reverse the fold direction. So if you wanted to go outwards, checking that box will turn the fold that way. Now that in some cases that may be required if you were marrying up to another staircase or a platform level for example and you wanted to make a merge detail into that. So I'm just going to set that back to be the default position so it's going back inward under the stair. So that is the small change that we made to actually finish off that area under that particular type of arrangement to complement the obviously the landing arrangements that we've integrated as well within the folded pan tread type.